Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to build Digital Hourglass. This is the updated part 2, where everything is now fully mapped, fixed, and working exactly as intended. I'll walk you through the parts, the wiring, the updated code, and finally we'll test the complete build. So let's get started. For this upgraded version of the Hourglass, we are using the ESP32C6 board as the main controller, paired with the MPU6050 motion sensor to detect the orientation of the Hourglass. The visuals are handled by two WS2812 LED matrices, which create the flowing sand animation. These components together form the complete smart, motion-responsive LED Hourglass. Originally, I wasn't planning to keep this entire setup permanently. I just wanted to share the concept with you. So for this demo, I quickly built a prototype frame out of simple white cardboard. But if you want something more durable, you can definitely 3D print a proper enclosure. And if I get the time, I'll share the complete 3D design files with you as well. Here's the wiring diagram for the project. The two WS2812 LED matrices are daisy-chained together, with their 5V and ground connected to a stable external supply. The ESP32C6 interfaces with the MPU6050 using SDA and SCL, while the data line from the LEDs goes straight to the ESP32. Now let's walk through the updated sketch and understand how the code works behind the scenes. This project mainly runs on three core files, diamondmapper.h, animation.h, and the main Rglas file. These handle everything from lead positioning to realistic sand physics and motion sensing. We'll start with diamondmapper.h. This file converts the two 8x8WS2812 lead matrices into a single continuous diamond-shaped grid. Each LED is mapped using XY coordinates instead of a simple linear index. This allows us to create the hourglass shape, define the top chamber, the neck, and the bottom chamber, and compute which LED corresponds to each sand grain. It also includes helper functions like XY diamond and set sand, which let the animation file place grains visually on the LEDs. Without this mapper, the Arglas wouldn't know where to draw the sand at all. Next is the heart of the project, animation.h. This file controls the physics simulation. It determines how each sand grain falls, slides, tumbles, and settles depending on the angle of the Arglas. It uses the MPU6050 tilt readings to calculate gravity direction, horizontal drift, and whether the hourglass is upright or inverted. Inside the file, you'll see structures that store sand grain positions, velocity, and occupancy for every lead. Functions like step drip, step sand, and step tilt slide simulate realistic behavior such as one grain at a time falling, diagonal drift based on tilt, crossing the neck properly, settling into a stable pile at the bottom, the file also handles visual effects like sparkles, gradients, trails, and ambient glow. All these settings are fully customizable through the web interface. Finally, the main logic sits inside Arglas sketch file. This file ties everything together. It initializes the ESP32C6, sets up the fast LED library, connects to the MPU6050 sensor, and opens the web UI API. It continuously reads the tilt angle, updates the physics engine, and then calls the draw function to refresh the LED matrix. This file also listens for commands from the UI, like brightness changes, refilling the top chamber, flipping the hourglass, pausing the animation, and updating theme or color settings. The remaining three files, index.html, style.css, and script.js are responsible for the web UI. They allow you to adjust brightness, select themes, 
tune gravity, modify physics presets, set flip angle, and even trigger actions like refill or flip directly from your phone. These UI settings are then sent back to the ESP32 as JUSO requests, where the main sketch applies them instantly. Now let's take a look at the final demo. Here, the ESP32C6 is reading the live tilt data from the MPU6050 and updating the sand physics in real time. As I flip the R glass, you can see the grains react instantly, falling one by one, drifting diagonally, and forming a natural looking pile at the bottom. The web UI also gives full control, so I can adjust brightness, change themes, tweak gravity, or trigger a refill with just a tap on my phone. Everything responds smoothly, and the animation is much more stable and accurate compared to part one. This is the fully working, fully interactive version of the LED R glass. If you enjoyed this upgraded version of the LED R glass, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment what feature you want me to add next. Thanks for watching. Till then, I am DHK Dude, signing off.